Hey, grade nine, how you doing? There I am. Okay, so September 17th, a recap uh, for the giver. We did chapter five today and we talked about the importance of sharing dreams. And I shared my dream uh, that I had last night. And why it was two hours long, I have no idea. But anyways, why do we dream? Okay, and uh, if you have those vivid dreams, it'd be uh, it'd be a good idea to record them so you know because they might that those dreams tell us something, right? So uh, the dream I had last night, I don't know what it's telling me. I don't know yet, but maybe somewhere down the line it's going to tell me. Um, but Jonas has a dream about Fiona. Okay, so as part of the conformity that we were talking about, we did uh, freedom versus security. So they're, they're giving up freedom in order to have security, and they're also giving up individu individuality and conforming to the rules of uh, the community, the, uh, the sameness, uh, everyone is the same, and uh, so there's no diversity of any kind. But Jonas is starting to see diversity. He's seeing that change in the apple in the previous chapter. He's having feelings for Fiona. So he has no choice, and he feels uncomfortable to share uh, his feelings about Fiona with his with his uh, mother and father, uh, but is required by the community. And keep in mind that they're also being monitored by the uh, the speaker and uh, the the elders as well. So um, it is re required by law that everyone share their dreams. And uh, so by sharing that dream at that time, which is in the morning after uh, breakfast, um, he has already shared uh, his or performed his requirement and now he is supposed to take a pill that would uh, uh, deal with what they call the stirrings okay and uh, so now he'll be taking this pill for the rest of his life until he goes to the house of the old now uh, does that solve Jonas's uh, concerns right now well the stirrings go away when he takes the pill but you know on the surface everything looks perfect but deep down there's still you know things are not right there's still some things that are just uh, making you ask a lot of questions and we'll find more about that as we uh, get closer to the climax which is, which is chapter 11. I also remind you about the uh, projects that are coming up uh, you should start your projects about chapter 11 any later than that uh, you'll be rushing your your projects so be careful about that and your research papers due September 30th and be sure to get your rough draft uh, in if you want me to proofread your work um, please let me know but uh, let's give me to uh, no later than next Friday because then uh, that doesn't give you a lot of time to do edits and things like that uh, then we moved into uh, don't label me and we talked about video games what's wrong with video games and we also talked about um, if, stating opinions, how we, if we make an opinion, we need to predict what's going to happen, make connections, uh, analyze and reflect in order to have a, a more well-rounded opinion. And that's that validation that I've been talking about. And you'll be using that in your paper. And uh, so we got, went into what's wrong with video games. We went to predicting right off the bat. What what do you, what did uh, what do you think the author means by the question? What's wrong with video games? And then we uh, made some connections with the video games you play. Um, are are there are your games more diverse uh, than say maybe a few years ago? Um, are they changing with the times? That kind of thing. And um, so we had a good discussion uh, about uh, gaming uh, in class. So we'll finish up that uh, tomorrow. And I think that would recap the class. So let's get to the document here. And I'm gonna move my thing around. Let's go back to slideshow. My current slide. Okay. So I'm just going to go back here. There you go. So chapter five and press pause if you need to get this information. Um, so I already talked about the morning ritual of sharing dreams is required by law. And uh, most dreams that we have are fragmented. They're kind of in bits and pieces. And if you record them, 
uh, those pieces of the puzzle uh, will uh, can be put together and you can figure out what the dreams really mean. And uh, so I, I shared a dream that I had. And, um, I have no idea why the dream uh, I had was so vivid and it felt real. Um, I've had other dreams in the past where I've dreamt it years ago and then I had dreamed the same dream exactly uh, almost a decade later. So, you know, what's the significance of that? So I was able to figure out some of that uh, to what, what was going on in my life at that time. Um, he shares a dream about Fiona and, uh, of course, we find out that Jonas has the stirrings. Okay. Now, the speaker would remind people they have to share their, their, their feelings regarding uh, the stirrings. They have to bring it to the forefront uh, and it must be reported and a treatment must take place. That's that pill. Okay, so some community members would try to hide it uh, and not share it because, you know, sharing dreams is a personal uh, or can be a personal experience and you don't want to share that. But uh, talking about those experiences helps us get through a lot of the obstacles that we face in our life. So um, is, that, is that any different from what we you know, what's happening in the novel and compared to what we're doing right now. Uh, some people write in diaries, some people write in journals and stuff like that. So uh, is, is, is there any difference uh, to what we, how we handle things compared to what uh, uh, is happening in the uh, community? Um, yes, maybe no, uh, maybe both, who knows? And once the pill is taken, the stirrings disappear. So that's where we left off for chapter five. So if you have any questions about uh, The Giver, please let me know. And if you uh, have a different topic idea for the research paper, please let me know about that. Come up with a question, three discussion points, and share that with me as soon as possible by Friday, uh, which is tomorrow, um, because you want to get going on your paper over the weekend and have that done by September 30th. Okay, aside from that, uh, take care and be safe.